Okay. Yeah. Oh, that was. Oh, okay. Good. So, loading the cell. Quick little tutorial. Just a few minutes. Distance. I want to help you guys. So let's go. Distance. Five, ten, fifteen, twenty, thirty, forty, five, thirty. We'll call this distance to store. Doesn't really matter what it is, though. Okay. How do you wrap in Excel? Wrap text. Ah, there it is. Uh, cancel wrap text. Okay, good. Now, so it 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 doesn't go off the next cell. It makes it all fit in a box. Distance there and back. Okay, how can we find the distance there and back? What do we have to do? How do we times it by two? Five times two equals ten. Yeah, but so what do I actually do in this column? How do I do that, TN? Calculate in your head. Nope. Okay, let's keep on going then. Uh, okay. Uh, I, we're going to go, yep. Yeah. Let's go. Do you want to do, do, do all that in your head? No, that's so, I don't know how to do that. Do you, do you want to do that in your head, Tien? No, Me neither. Good. So that's why we're getting some skills up. So let's get some skills up. So just go, you only need to go to 35. It doesn't matter. But I want to make the point that we don't do this in your head. You want to multiply by 2. In a spreadsheet, if you want to do math, you first plus the equal sign. So what you need to have is this distance distance there and back just so you understand that we're multiplying by 2 okay and you go 5 10 15 20 25 30 35 the rest of these guys we don't need but I was making the point that you don't just type them all because that's a waste of your time so now what you do please look here anytime you want to do math you first go equals and you know what I want to do this number times 2 Ginny's nodding your head. Do you know this, Ginny? Yeah, last school. You learned it? Awesome. See, these guys don't know what you do. Boom, watch this. Oh, look at all that math. Done. Let me zoom out to that whole crazy table. Oh, look at all that math. Done. Wow. So I will show you in slow motion now. So equals to tell Excel or any spreadsheet to do math. I want this, whatever this number is, multiplied by 2. So I click on this number and I go times. For the times, we use the asterisk, which is shift 8. Then I'm going to say times 2 equals, and it gives me 10. And I could type that every time, but that would be a waste of time. Instead, again, looking here, I'm going to click on the 10, and notice the bottom right-hand corner is like a little square. You just grab that little square, and this is called filling down. And it does the math for you. It's same if you want to do average or other functions. Ginny's looking bored because it's pretty simple, Ginny. It is. Yeah, it's okay to look bored because you know this. That's okay, Ginny. I'm not insulted. Like, yes. You go equals to say to do math. I want to take this number right here. So I click right there and it will say A2, A2, whatever that cell is. Then times is shift 8 to get the little asterisk. Then 2. And then I press enter. And it tells me the answer. Now, here's the magic. This is what Ida called black magic. Who called black magic? Yeah, but again, yeah, because first people didn't want to listen to her. Then he came, oh, show me that. So I'm going to show all of you guys right now. You go in the corner and you grab and you drag down. Okay, I'm going to show you one other thing. 
Okay, this is a little contrived, but I need to show you this. Okay, let us um, now do. So we have different. This is some stores. Who knows why? I don't know. So we're gonna go um, distance from store number two. Actually, number one. Number one. Okay. This is. I'm showing you this for a reason to help you do your lab. Okay. Um, this is not what you're exactly going to do, but I'm going to help you guys process. Okay, I'm being a little vague right now. Distance from store one. I would have this distance minus this distance, which will give me five. Then I want this distance from this distance, and that should give me what's 20 minus 5? 15. Then I want this distance always minus the 5, and that should give me 25. That's easy. That's easy. So I want you to try right now. Spoiler alert. It may not work for you. Yes, because it only, like, five, like... So I'm going to go this minus this. It gave me my five. Then I'm going to go fill okay. down. And it went like this. You <laughs> It went this minus this. This minus this because it doesn't know what I it doesn't know that I always want this five well, here. If it's always the same number, just put five. You're five. right. There's something better that we can do, but we're not at that level yet. Oh. So what we are going to do is exactly right. We're going to type in the five, and then I'm going to fill down, and it works. There's something better that we could do, but you guys aren't ready for that yet, and it's not worth our time right now. Because if I if I change this number. It will stay as five, which isn't great, but that's what we're going to do. So do you see how sometimes you might actually want to type in the actual number? Yes. Okay. So I'm just giving you that because you're going to do some data processing in the lab, and these are some skills you may want. I'm going to end the recording now, and I'm going to post this recording somewhere. So if you want to see this again.